Hello everybody, welcome to my tutorial world on how to use command blocks and commands in general. So, first thing you want to do obviously is get command block. I'm assuming you guys already know how to do that. Oh. That's fine, that's chain. You can just change this to normal. Okay. Now that we've got a command block, the first command that we're going to be doing is the clone command. So we're gonna place this down, type in clone tilde tilde 1, tilde 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 1, 3 more tildes, then a 3, and then a tilde. And then we set it to whatever you want it to be at. I like to turn on previous output so I can see if there's anything wrong. Done. I have it as redstone pulse or whatever it is. Oh. So if you place like a block here, that's that. Right above it clones. This is good for resetting chests in a game. So if you were to grab a chest or a barrel, you could grab whatever you want. Just throw some items in. You could click that, put them in, take them out, and then click it again. Stuff is there. And it works if there's blocks like right here. Right now, there's nothing in it. And when you click that, it reappears. Same way. You could place literally anything there. I don't know if it works. I don't think it works with item frames. That might be the one drawback. So that's the first command. That is probably one of the easiest. The one I'm about to show you right now, though, is the easiest. So this is the summon command. So, oh, sorry. Caps lock. So you just type in summon, and then whatever you want. And if you want it to spawn a specific coordinate, you could put in the coordinates. But we're good without any. So we're going to hit done. Throw our button there. Oh. There we go. Oh no! It spawns it on the block, so maybe you want to do. Let me see if that works. Eh, whatever. So yeah, it'll spawn in the command block. So we could change it change this to something that won't die. Hopefully. And I'll summon it. The next one is the let's see, the clear. There it is. Type in specific user, the nearest player, whatever. So we're going to do this one. Hit done. Go and put my command block. I could just grab it from doing this. If I click that, my inventory is cleared. Ignore the skin. But my inventory is cleared. That's what happens every time you hit it. And I'll tell you how many items were removed. 
those were the three that I wanted to show you right now. There are a few more, but I'll probably get into that in the next video. Well, I'll do one more real quick. It's weather. Oh. You could do whatever weather you want. And then, as always, button it'll start to thunder but I personally hate the rain so I'm gonna set that to clear I will be making a series on how to make a mini game and stuff like that but so far, that's all I have to show you.